that's lunch. Now I've received your file. I think we have some prime properties that right up your alley, okay? Great. Thank you for eventually meeting with us. We're very excited about finding our new home. Oh, we should be. I mean, there are many great prospects on the market. So let's get down to business, okay? Now this house, uh, three bedrooms, complete with wraparound porch, a bay window accents the north side, and it is now 95% raccoon free. Oh, 95%. That's not bad. Wait, wait, 95%? Oh yes, this house was filled with well over 100 raccoons at one time, but not to worry. The wolves took care of most of them. We should probably get on the same page. You know, we're, we're eventually want to have kids, so I think we should have something with a few more bedrooms. And a few less wolves. All right, all right, I completely understand. Well, this house, complete with six bedrooms, three stories, it's in an increasingly great neighborhood for families, and was once home to a local celebrity. Legendary Channel 4 newscaster Todd Filburn? Close. It was the Pine Elementary Strangler. Now, the roof has been reshaped. Wait, who lived in this house? Oh, I've got it here. Uh, it was Jorge Ramirez, a.k.a. Angel Eyes, a.k.a. Hidalgo, a.k.a. Willie Loman. I don't care who it was. How many children did he strangle? Enough to get your house featured on the national news. This is not our house. We're not buying this house. You know, you two drive a hard bargain. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a yes paw, we're going to make a no paw. We're going to go through these rapid fire, okay? Thank you. Complete with sex dungeon. No. Great for scorpion enthusiasts. No. This imaginary house. No. This car. No. This submerged houseboat. No. This igloo. No. This garbage igloo. What? No, that's ridiculous. Good, because that's a bit out of your price range. You know what? We are just going to shop around. If we have any questions, we will call you. Have a good afternoon. Sex dungeon? High six figures.